everyone, John here, and today I'm going to be talking about just a couple of dull projects that I've been working on for the last week or so. Um, I guess the whole unifying theme of this week's dolls are they're all projects that I have either been putting off for a very long time or they're things that I really wanted to do but um, either stuff came like came up or like I just didn't have the inspiration for it but I actually did finish a lot of things that I'm very proud of this week so yeah let's get started Okay, today's first doll is a doll that I've had since I was about 14 years old. And, um, when I was 14, I had a lot of mixed feelings about being alive and, like, just, I just didn't have much sense of who I was, like, in terms of my own identity and stuff. But, um, I did end up reading this novel called Wicked by Gregory Maguire. And it covered a lot of, like, really adult themes now that I think about it. But it was one of my very first times actually seeing, like, kind of a mainstream book cover, like, issues of... Like, issues of being same-sex attracted and, like, talking about um, feelings of isolation and all that of, like, not fitting in and, you know, just generally being judged for your appearance. And so, yeah. And then I found out there was a musical made of that as well. And I just fell in love with the main character, Alphaba. Around, um, 2000... No, wait. 2006. One of my online friends at the time, um... I, I, I would like to think... Uh, I think his username was Tofa... Franz, such a good friend to me, <laughs> considering that, like, I was just a 14-year-old um, kid that really had really bad grasp of language and grammar and stuff. But, um, he was very encouraging. He, um, sent me, um, two dolls. Um, one of them was my Winky God Wizard of Oz doll, and the other one was my Wicked Witch of the West doll. And of course, since I read Wicked around the same time, and I was really obsessed with um, the Wizard of Oz book series, I was so, so happy to be able to get my hands on a Wicked Witch doll. And, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. In the following years of owning this doll, I've repainted her at least five or six times now, but... I've always had such a huge issue, um, huge issue with trying to work with her face. But I think I'm really, really happy with this one. I think she fits in with what I imagined for her. And yeah, here she is. Just... Um, if you can see, she has like a really strong jaw and a really um, elongated face, which... I was not used to having um, in any kind of doll at the time when I was like 14. Like, up to that point, all the dolls that I had had really round baby faces. Their eyes were really low set. They had really big eyes, really small noses, kind of pouty lips and stuff. But this doll, yeah, she had a really unique face sculpt. And when I tried to repaint her, it was just so difficult um, as a kid. But... Yeah, I guess now that I'm 24, like 10 years later, I finally, finally been able to work with the face sculpt and I'm very happy with it. I also rerouted her using the um, tool method because for so long her hair was like really dry, frizzy, cur like really curly, but it had no real shape to it. And it just only came up to here, and it didn't even have a parting, so she already had, like, a huge bold spot every time I tried to, like, style her hair. And so I finally, finally rerouted her as well. And I think she looks really gorgeous. I'm so in love with her. She obviously has been rebodied onto a new one, like, a fashionista body, which I've painted to match her, and... 
yeah, I just, I love her so much. Just, yeah. Then, like, during the last week, um, my action figure body came in the mail, which cost me about $13 Australian, so. Yeah, and Jacob ended up with it. Like, as you can see, the skin tone match is actually quite close, considering that action figure bodies usually have a really grey skin tone to them and everything. Turns out that this body is a taller variant, so he actually isn't the same height as a fashionista doll, or like any other kind of standard fas um, fashion doll, because usually action figure dolls are a bit more realistically scaled, so they're always like about that tall in comparison, but yeah, he's about that tall, and yeah, I've had Jacob since he was released new and um, he was on sale. And I only got him because I really wanted his Ken shoes, so... Yeah, um... So he's been bodiless for about... Four or five years? Maybe even six? So good to finally have him on like a... Decent-ish body... And yeah... Also went back to... Um, Toy World and grabbed myself another... Twilight Jasper doll because um like when I went to like um when Jasper first showed up to Toy World I was like oh okay I'll just buy one and then um I'll just keep an eye out just in case they mark it down any lower but when I tried looking around other Toy World stores they said they all sold out sold out of all of the Jasper Twilight dolls and I was just like ah uh, uh I didn't even get a second one to customize, like, like you know, really differently. Um, so yeah, I, I was like doing another errand, and I swung by the toy world there, and they had one, one last Jasper doll for me to get, so I had to get him at fifteen dollars. And yeah, and even though I just got him, I've been meaning to reroute. Um, I've had this blue hair fiber for about a couple years now since the Monster High Cre Creator Monster packs came out. And so I decided to reroute Jasper in it. Yeah. I love the color, but the length is a bit too short for what I would want on a female doll. So, yeah, I think. Like, I really like the color, and it goes well with his skin tone, even though he's, like, incredibly, incredibly washed out. But, he sort of looks like he's wearing a wig, so I don't know if I should paint his eyebrows to match his hair or not. But, yeah. So, I've been meaning to use this um, hair fiber for such a long time, and I finally used half of it on this reroute. And, yeah. And I guess... He's also kind of a stand-in for um, another doll, since I did kind of want to get a Barbie Basics Ken doll that uses his face sculpt, and he has like long brunette hair, but I never did get him, and he's so expensive online right now, so... Yeah, I guess this is kind of a stand-in for him, because he has kind of the same hairstyle, but, you know, in a completely different, like, color entirely. <laughs> I did end up ordering another um, $10 like action figure body to put his head on just because even though I really like his head and stuff, I'm not going to get another Q model, Q model body for him just because I'm a bit cheap right now and yeah. <sighs> oh yeah, um... This was a, another eBay purchase that I'd done about a month ago. And I, when I was younger, I really, really um, was a huge fan of uh, um, Andrea's stuff. And one of the um, hybrids she used to post was the Integrity, was when um, Integrity Toys had a Playline um, set of dolls. And... And they were called Janae, and I always really loved um, Andrea's customs of them and stuff, so I always have this kind of weird nostalgia for a doll that I never even have. 
And so, yeah, um, I've been searching on um, Chinese eBay to see if I could get some of the dead stock um, Jinae heads. And I finally, I finally found one that actually shipped to Australia. And she came, like, this week as well. Yeah. As you can see, she has very, very strong, like... Like, I, I would like to say she's not very Euro-centric um, um, features. Um, you can really see she has, like, a broad nose, like big lips and like really dark eyes and I really like that about her and so yeah I put her on a um, glam vacation grace um, body which has jointed arms but really stiff legs I would like to get her a made to move body but I'm not sure if I even will be able to track down a yellow top made to move doll anytime soon so I guess she's kind of stuck on here until I find at least some like, you know, workable legs for her. But yeah, I've really been wanting, like, a Janae head for a long time, and I guess... I guess factory rejects are there to save me, so yeah. And then I've also had this, um, Twilight Emmett doll, as you can see, on a, um, WWE like kind of wrestling body. I think it's the Seamus doll because he's the like red-headed wrestler guy and even though the articulation isn't that great it's much better than what I had for Jasper and yeah it's really really big and ripped but I've I've always been meaning to um, customize his arms so they can accept action figure hands because um, his original hands for this body they're like really big and very clunky and they only had um, swivel um, they only had kind of swivel articulation to it and I wanted at least like a bit more bending to it and stuff and yeah he's incredibly incredibly buff and rip and yeah I don't know if I'm going to get him a replacement body or might just keep him on this one because it is really big but since it, since wrestling figures are half naked it is easier to dress them than it would have been if he had more molded clothes on. And yeah I had a 12 dancing princesses um, like Hayley body and um, accidentally cut through her arm while trying to carve out some plastic from her elbow and so I finally Got her a new arm. Like, it, it comes out, but I did drill it so um, it does pop in really easily. And so I've been able to put um, this um, Hong Kong clone head onto her. Like, yeah, I don't know if it really fits or not, but... Hey, I got another doll finished. I've been meaning to get this um, head a new body. I've been meaning to get this body fixed. And so, yeah, I guess... They kind of go together for now, because I made it go together, so yeah. Even though I am Asian, I've never actually seen a Kira doll in my, like, like either in-store or second-hand or at all in Australia. And the Asian character that I grew up with was Leah, so I've never really had a Kira doll until Andrea sent me one about, um... Five or six years ago now, <laughs> and even though I did give her a haircut and stuff, I never really did anything with the Kira head, but I always thought Kira's head looked really weird on a fash um, on any kind of Barbie body at all, and I always thought, why does it, why does the head look really weird to me on like these um, Barbie bodies? And then the other day, um, I sort for laughs, I would just swap some heads around and my um, spring into style um, curvy Barbie over here, um, since she's on a action figure body, I had her body lying around and I thought, hey, maybe I should just put Kira's head on this, J you know, just for laughs. And I actually really, really love this on her, like her head on this body, like I always thought that she looked pretty strange having really long, elegant, kind of like slender body. 
But seeing her on a much more stocky, kind of rounded body like this, I actually really quite like it. And I I even like got around to um, boiling her hair again and making it lay down. If you can see, she does have like um, bright blue 80s eyes. So I don't know if I want to repaint her to make her look a bit more um, modern and stuff. But yeah. I, I don't know, I just, I'm really happy with this combination of parts for her. And I really do hope we get curvy, um, articulation, just like, somehow, sometime soon. I, I would like my dolls to at least bend the knees and to bend the elbows and wrists. <laughs> Mattel, please. <laughs> but yeah, she's, I think she looks quite perfect on this body even if she doesn't have much articulation for now, so yeah. And finally, fi <laughs> finally, my last doll that I've been working on for like the last couple of days. Um, I, I guess I've been procrastinating on this doll just because I haven't had a real head for it. And so if I couldn't find a head that worked for her, I felt like I should... Um, I felt like I didn't need to work on her until I found her a perfect head. It turns out that um, Toy World also had um, reproduction swimsuit Barbies for um, more than half the retail price. So I ended up getting another one of those and, um, and I thought I was going to put her on a made to move Barbie body but then um, I tested her head on my shortened um, 17 inch Frankie Stein body and I thought she just looked perfect for it and a lot of things lined up and this is what she looks like now any of you people follow my other media um, this is actually a 17 inch um, freaky tall Frankie Stein um, body like that's just been severely severely shortened like I've cut out like inches from her arms, I've dremeled in, I've tried to make the pieces match together, I've cut out parts of her torso, and yeah. Um, I guess another thing that I was procrastinating on this body was that um, her lower legs were like completely hollow, like, and so th they ended up like flaring out like this much if I um, didn't do anything with that. So I got pieces of her legs that are cut off and I put it into an airtight glass jar with, with just enough acetone in it just to cover the pieces and waited for it to all melt until it became this kind of weird paste. Then I put it into a Ziploc bag, cut off the corner of the Ziploc bag and just like piped it into her legs. Like, even though that, um, even though it did cut, um, blend perfectly well with her legs um it actually made her entire lower half of her leg like really really soft for about um for about a month and i just did not feel safe about like carving into that but but then like for the last couple of weeks i've been meaning to like sand it down using a dremel and smoothing it out and i just kind of procrastinated on that until i found the repro Barbie head and put it onto this body. And so I've just been kind of working like a madman, like just trying to finish this doll. And yeah, yeah, she's roughly the same width as a curvy fashionista Barbie. But, um, and she is wearing a curvy Barbie dress. So yeah, um, I guess this doll combines like a lot of things that I really wanted in one doll, which is that I've always wanted the uh, vintage style Wicked Witch of the West doll, but when she was out in stores, I was like, I can't justify spending like $70 on a like stiff doll. But now she's like $200 online and I'm just like, why, why didn't I get her, you know? And I've been meaning to get a curvy kind of like 
just like a curvier fashion body that's like really articulated. So I've been meaning to do that using the Monster High body. And so yeah. She also has live doll hands because they're the only um, fashion doll sized hands that I had lying around. Um, and if anyone's wondering what her feet are, they're actually um, they're actually the 17 inch Frankie's original hands, but I cut off all the thumbs. I cut off all the thumbs and I cut off all the fingers and cut it into this vague shoe shape, like foot shape. And so yeah, she can fit into um, normal Barbie shoes now, but she does not look good with open-toed sandals and stuff. So yeah, I'm very happy with my like mint green, like curvy vintage doll <laughs> custom that I did. And yeah, um, I guess this week was the week of like, you know, the nostalgic green ladies. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching my project updates and I hope to see you guys again soon.